It's the unthinkable. Could it get even worse? Now as Russia digs in, fears grow. What more can the world do? Sunday on ABC's... Next on Eyewitness News at 6, breaking news, tragedy for a tree trimmer in Sherman Oaks. What we're learning about the man who died and the effort from Cruz to try and save his life. Plus, nearly three months after her murder, loved ones gathered to honor Brianna Kupfer on what would have been her 25th birthday. And making a difference even in death, a local cycling enthusiast killed in a crash five years ago, still inspiring people to make safety a priority. These stories plus Alex Cheney is tracking a major cool down. Eyewitness News at 6 is next. We are Grocery Outlet, and we are your bargain market. What's bargain bliss? You know that feeling you get when you find the name brands you love, but for way, way less? That's bargain bliss. Find bliss on every aisle at your neighborhood grocery outlet. It's Grocery Outlet's 20% off wine sale, going on now till April 12th. We have hundreds of wines sure to please any wine enthusiast. So act now, because these deals won't last long. Stop in and save today. Grocery Outlet, bargain market. America, home of the free. Hi, welcome. Kids eat free, right? Yeah, that's right. Free is our favorite word. Like kids eat free. We get it. That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything. This place is fire. <laughs> unless we win your case. All right, cool. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com. This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. We begin at 6 with breaking news out of Sherman Oaks. A tree trimmer is dead after a tragic accident. I'm Veronica Miracle. Jory Rand is off tonight. This happened just after noon on Coldwater Canyon Avenue near Mulholland Drive. Dozens of firefighters responded to the scene and they worked to rescue that man who was in his 70s from a tall tree about 50 feet off the ground. He was declared dead at the scene. He had a crew that was working with him. Um, according to the crew, that they, they were working, so they were going back and forth, so contact was intermittent for about a few minutes at a time. There were energized electrical wires near the area where that tree trimmer was working. The cause of his death, though, is still under investigation. Nearly three months after her murder inside a Hancock Park furniture store, loved ones carry on the memory of Brianna Kupfer. Today, they hosted a charity event that would have marked her 25th birthday. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell joins us live to show us how they continue to celebrate her life. Amy. Veronica, it's a murder that shocked this community. Today, family and friends gathered to remember her and launch a foundation in her honor.